In today's video, I am going to be breaking down different drills that I used with Jezza in this video so that you can have better footwork when you are shooting the ball. This is very, very important. If you do not have good footwork, your shot is not going to be as accurate as it should be. So let's get down. Let's check out this workout really quickly. Hit that like button and subscribe and comment down below. Great job, Jezza. Okay, so in this first drill, we are starting around the three-point line. I'm passing Jezza the ball, and he's going up for a layup. Now, he's catching the ball, taking two steps, not taking any dribbles, and going up for that layup. Why is this so important? What are we trying to fo focus on here? Well, number one, we're trying to focus on transitioning from catching the ball into doing a layup, but there are so many players who always try to look to dribble the ball first and then go up for their layup. But sometimes, and usually most of the time, it is better to just catch that ball and go straight up with your two steps without taking the dribble, because as soon as you take that dribble, you're going to probably get that ball stolen. Now, this next drill is the exact same thing. However, we're going into a jump shot. And the idea here is so that you can catch that ball, go into a two-foot jump stop, and go up for your shot. Now what we are trying to focus on is going off of the left foot first, landing on both feet, and then going off the right foot as well, and landing on both feet at the exact same time. The idea of landing on both feet at the exact same time is so that now, if they are faced with a defender, they can use either the left or right foot as a pivot foot. And we are also now going to go into passing the ball, doing a defensive slide over, and then attacking the basket, receiving that ball back, and going straight into two steps and a layup without dribbling the ball. Now the idea here is now moving off ball, going from the point to the wing, still getting or still in keeping the, the ball in view, and then cutting essentially back door. Now, this is fantastic because now they were teaching players how to move off ball, but now also still teaching players how to catch that ball, take two steps without taking a dribble, and going straight in for that layup. This is very, very important skills to have in basketball, especially at the younger age, because a lot of players at a younger age will just follow the ball, and wherever that ball goes, you'll have a big clump of five players, technically ten, because they would be taking their defenders with them over to that side of the court so definitely moving off ball is very important here now in this next drill Jez is going to be doing a crossover slide across a distance here it's about maybe five maybe six feet and then he's going to attack the basket hard with one or two dribbles he's going to go into a two foot jump stop and then he's going to go for a bank shot now, you can go for a bank shot, you can go for a swish, whatever you'd like, but the idea here now is to quickly dribble out away from a defender and then attack the defender, attack the basket, and then go into a two-foot jump stop so that you can go into your shot. And obviously, whatever you do on one side, you also want to do on the other side as well. Now, we're in this drill, we're not just focusing on the shot, but we're working on the transition from that crossover into the attack of the basket so that you can also really attack that defender hard. And, of course, you want to be able to have the player get low when they attack the basket off of those crosses so they can have leverage on their defenders as well. Now, next, we're going to be going into a crossover one-hand pass because every player should know how to pass with one hand and be accurate with it. And then quickly shuffling out towards that other hurdle and then attacking down the middle of the paint. Again, now we're working on our one-hand pass, our crossover into a pass, and then moving off ball and still working on the ability to not dribble the ball after you receive the pass back when you're going in for a layup. This is a skill that every player needs to have, and these are combinations of skills that will be used back-to-back -back also in Game 2. So definitely, I hope that these drills help your team win more games. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe. And really make sure to comment down below and tell Jazza how good he worked today. Because he's a really good basketball player. So Jezza, you did a fantastic job. Good work. And of course, keep working hard because you're going to be a really good player.